In today's video, I would like to demonstrate a pipe search lab experiment. The main objectives of today's exercise is to demonstrate the use of a search shaft to attenuate any changes in pressure associated with pipe search. Before we start, I would like to ask you, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's start! Equipment is operated by a computer. We use Armfield software. As soon as we open software, we check that connection is achieved. We check the pressure level in the pressure transducer that is displayed on the diagram. And diagram shows the whole setup of the system. We also have experimental data table and as well as the graph that will display experimental data as soon as we start recording. First, I would like to format axis of my graph. I will format y-axis scale from 0 to around 800 millimeters, and then I will click apply to accept this format of my axis. After that, I'm ready to start recording and I will start recording by pressing Start button. As soon as I do this and return to my graph, I can see water level in the search tower readings are being recorded, and this is my steady flow conditions of water level in the search tower. I will record this for a few minutes before I close the valve. When I close the valve, the water flow in a pipe is brought to rest and this is associated with increase in pressure that is absorbed by a search tower. We can observe how the water level in the search tower rises above static level and then falls below the static level. And the level continues to oscillate with reducing magnitude until the level is steady at static level, which is equal to the overflow level at the header tank. We can see that the water level is almost stable in the search tower, and this is confirmed by recorded water level on the graph, which is static level in the search tower. We will record this for a few more minutes before we open the valve again. When the water level in the search tower is steady, we open valve again and observe the level return to the level of initial water level in the search tower. However, now the water level is heavily damped with little or no oscillations. We will allow the level to stabilize and confirm that the water level returns to the initial water level of Y0 that is marked on the graph. On the graph I also show the maximum amplitude of the first surge as well as the oscillation period of the undamped simple harmonic motion and I show the static head. After the valve was open again I confirm that the water level in the search tower returns to the initial water level in the search tower. And indeed, the water level before the valve was closed is exactly the same as stable water level in the search tower after the valve was open again. Now I'm ready to save my data. I click Save As and choose Excel type of file, give it a relevant name and save my recordings in my folder. After that, I would be ready to conduct a second experiment. But before that, I would like to check my experimental table. My table shows number of sample, then sample time, elapsed time and the pressure values. To record a new experiment, I need to insert a new data table. I click on New Data Table. I press Start Recording 
and record a new data set for experiment number two. The initial water level in the search tower is low compared to previous experiment, and this is because the flow rate for experiment number two is greater. Similarly for experiment number two, I close the valve and observe how the water level in the search tower rises above static head and then falls below the static head and the level continues to oscillate with reducing magnitude until the water level is steady at the level of the static head. When the water level is steady, I will open the valve again and will observe how it returns to the initial water level in the search tower. We will record data for a few more minutes and it's interesting to observe that the second experiment was conducted for flow rate that was greater compared to experiment number one. However, the maximum amplitude for both experiments is roughly the same. When the water level in the search tower is steady, we open the valve again and we can observe how the water level returns to the initial water level in the search tower by zero, heavily damped with little or no oscillations. When students complete the lab, they are required to do data processing and analysis. For example, they are asked to calculate theoretical time series of water level in the search tower and compare with experimental data. Now I have to measure flow rates. Measurements are done using the hydraulic band volumetric tank and a stopwatch on my mobile. I measure time required for the volume of around 10-12 liters of water to fill in the hydraulic bench. I will repeat the measurements three times and then calculate the average flow rate from the three sets of reasons that I obtain. I will record for uh, around one minute and then I will take the reading of volume of water that is filled in the hydraulic bench. And this is the time to fill or around 10 liters of water. Experiment is finished now. I can close the valve and switch off the pump. Goodbye.